Hello, it is Thursday today. I have been up since about nine o'clock. It's about, oh, it's 22, 11 now. Now, IB is popping round, my boyfriend, to deliver a fridge that I've been given, a great big one. I'm like slightly apprehensive that it's gonna take over the whole kitchen. This is my existing fridge, and as you can see, it is quite small, I suppose, for a family, although we're only a family of two. But the new fridge is a big one, so it's gonna go there, and the freezer's gonna slide in there, hopefully. I don't know where my bins are going. I've got really used to having them at this height. I know that's a bit strange. I just put them there because there was literally nowhere else to fit them in the kitchen, but I've got so used to it. It's just so convenient. So I'm gonna miss those. I'm gonna have to have a serious think about where on earth I'm gonna put the bins. As you can see this one's in the way. I have to move the general waste bin because it's in the way of the drinks rack or it's in the way of the door or it's in the way of that cupboard just depending on where I've shoved it to access something. I am half tempted, oh it's dark in here, I'm half tempted to move the home ed drawers to put a bin there because obviously we don't home ed anymore. I'm just reheating my second coffee of the day up. I'm looking forward to that. So far I've been sitting up in my room meticulously handcrafting my Cardiff vlog, which I'm hoping to get out by tonight, which I did with the Magenta Otter Travels. So if you haven't watched that, do go back and watch that. <laughs> I should really get washed and dressed at some point, but I'm just kind of keen to break the back of that edit. Um, my boyfriend is apparently turning up about half 11, but he's gonna text me with a more refined ETA. So really I should try and get washed and dress by then shouldn't I? And also at some point today I'm hoping to get to B&M Bargains to get some canes for my plants because Julie Pearson commented in the comments that B&M do garden canes so I'm gonna get myself down there. Quarter past twelve. Yes so my boyfriend and a companion turned up and delivered this Bridge. Just need to give it a little bit of a clean. But other than that, it's been in his um, sort of lean-to building thingy. Semi-exposed to the elements for a bit, but it seems to be working fine. It's a little bit cracked, but that's fine. We can sort that out. Oh, amazing. I seem to have got a free chopping board in with the deal as well. Oh, wow. Oh, I can't believe it, all this room. My goodness. The old one is here. I think I'll call up Too Good To Waste and see if they want to come and collect it rather than just putting it out for the council. All my fridgy stuff is out. There wasn't a lot of it. There's that and that and that's all I had. And prior to them coming, I was on the phone. I've been taking notes here on the phone to the GP. So my daughter's on immunosuppressing medication normally and because of having COVID, she's had to come off it. So now we're anticipating some problems with coordinating going back onto the immunosuppressing medication at the right time because we don't want to suppress the immune system when it's needed to deal with covid so she's had to be booked in for more bloods uh, next week they need to look at her full blood count count in white blood cells or something they need to yeah restart it at the optimal moment so we're a little bit worried she's going to have a big eczema flare-up to deal with now on top of the fatigue which is just continuing she's still got it she went and posted something the other day she walked like 30 seconds to the post box and up the hill a bit back and she was out of breath and it absolutely wore her out so this is where she's at still so she's two weeks and one day post getting the official positive test my hair i've started to brush my hair and i had brushed half of it because i took one plait out and i brushed half of it and then the guys turned up so i just literally shoved it back in a bobble and I haven't done anything with it since. I haven't had any breakfast yet, so I think I'm going to have a little break, I'm going to have some breakfast, and then I'm going to get back to working on the Cardiff vlog. It makes noises. I've just discovered. Oh, it's stopped now. It keeps going like this. That could be a bit unnerving if you're not used to it. I'm making myself a hot drink. I'm having a mostly editing day today. I am almost there with the Cardiff vlog that's going up tonight, which is Thursday night. I've done the thumbnail. My eyes are starting to feel a bit like pickled onions because I've been at it for hours and last night as well till midnight. The time is 20 to 4 and I'm still on for B&M bargains. I'm going to get time. I'm going for instant coffee. Dun dun dun! It does happen occasionally. This video won't take as long to edit. It's the out and about ones that take the longest. Ah, I can't get to my fridge. No, that's the freezer. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I just looked in the freezer instead of the fridge because I'm not used to this monster of a 
freezer fridge thingy yet oh dear. look see all these things missing here that's because you see I've been making the most of my dishwasher to just shove them all through so I don't have to wash it all by hand Ooh. oh there's a lot of yeah water pulled in there I better deal with that in a minute anyway where was I Ooh. we're on the fancy barista coconut milk look for coffee delish I'm nearly there we're getting this vlog up now nearly there I reckon another 20 minutes and I'm done <sighs> then I'm going shopping B&M apparently has loud copyright music on I shall film what I can first of all I'm going for these mushroom soups I'll get a couple of those I forgot the pound coin for the trolley so this is going to be a bit awkward to film because I've got that and that and yeah took not enough hands um <laughs> oh, okay we can do this yes I'm looking for noodles since I'm in here. <laughs> I've probably walked past them. Oh, they're over here now. They've moved things around a little bit, apparently. Where are my favourite ones? Here. It's the stir fry ones I like. I'm gonna get three since I'm in here. I'm gonna get a decent sausage roll for a pound. Izzy's asked for some Rubicon. I presume she means mango. Just one tin, she said. Those are 49 pence. I do want to get some of that, but I want to get it last because I don't want to carry it in the basket. <laughs> so it's going to weigh my arm down too much. Oh no, poor kids. They've only just broken up. Oh, revision cards. Don't need any of this stuff anymore now, seeing I'm not home educating. It's just total habit to come and look at the stationery. I'm allowing myself to get very distracted here. I'm supposed to be here for garden canes, that's all. <laughs> Found the right section, but will they have canes for my tomato plants? I wonder if this B&M has it because it's not one of the bigger, bigger ones, you know. I decided to have my walkies straight away after going shopping. I just grabbed a big bottle of pop for Izzy in the end uh, instead of getting the cans because I just couldn't be bothered to carry them in the basket. <laughs> Lazy mo. Um, anyway, yeah, went to Wilco's next. They didn't have steaks either. Oh yeah, that reminds me I was going to have a forage for sticks. <sighs> Feeling very lazy. I mean, it's probably like paradise for finding sticks to be honest there's just trees everywhere here <sighs> can i be bothered <laughs> there's a chap down there we were just chatting i was rummaging around in the undergrowth and i heard his voice saying you all right love <laughs> so i came out looking all sheepish said i'm just trying to find some sticks to stake out my tomatoes well he's obviously a fellow tomato grower so a nice chat about that and he's directed me to somewhere i can find some decent sticks it don't need to be very long oh it's a bit steep is that attached to anything oh that'd probably be all right Two. I think I need four. Those are a bit of a climb. Oh, they're probably two a penny, aren't they? Wow, cheaper. They're free. Uh. Now I've actually opened my eyes and started looking. They're everywhere. Whoa! Got brambled in the face then. This is quite long. Ow! Ow! Come to Imo. Ugh. Oh, look at that one. That's a good one. That's probably enough. I'm getting greedy now because I'm seeing them. Ow! There we are. See? Didn't need Wilco or B&M after all. The music I'm listening to has just gone really triumphant as well. So I feel like, yes, I've got the sticks. I'm back from my walk, it's about half past six in the evening. I've just put the oven on to get some oven food on and I've just dumped the sticks on the floor for now. Tomorrow I will stake out my tomatoes but it's getting late and I need to clean the fridge. So a lot of the shelves have been removed because I've been putting them through the dishwasher but these big ones I don't think they'll fit, I haven't tried actually. Um, it's just 
It was a clean fridge. It's just that because it's been in IB's lean-to for so long, I think it might have been a little bit damp inside with condensation. It's been turned off and some mould has come on it. So I'm just gonna give it a quick once over before I load anything else into it. You can see how little I had in my fridge before. Look, that's, that's pretty much the sum of it. It's a bit later now. Dinner is nearly ready, except I completely failed to turn the heat on under the peas, the frozen peas. So they've only just gone on. In the active fry, we have chips. Well, oven chips going round. And in the oven, we have some corn fake chicken nuggets, which we're both gonna eat. I've been washing up bits from the fridge, the old fridge and the new fridge, because I'm going to try and donate mine to a charity, my old one, you know, if they want to come and collect it. So I'm going to give it a bit of a clean. And here's my one. It's more or less clean. I give it a bit of a quick going over, really. There's barely anything in it. I'm not used to having space. <laughs> Normally we only have like two or three cans in the fridge at a time because there's just no space. So as soon as somebody takes one out, they put one in. That's the rule. And look, four things of cheese. Now, I seem to have got loads of cheese. I wouldn't mind betting that having a bigger fridge will change my shopping habits gradually over time. Anyway, if you would like to support this channel and help it to grow, a like really helps to rank the videos higher in YouTube. If you're new here and would like to follow more of my story, do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.